today is another really nice day, like no coat. And um, I was debating whether or not I should bring my drone out just in case I decided to go somewhere and shoot some drone footage. And um, well, better to have it than to not, right? So today's schedule, looking like editing until about noon, uh, podcast editing, and then uh, afterwards lunch, and then um, I kind of want to play that game that my nephew was playing yesterday. I can play Xenoblade. For about four hours. All right, productivity time. Let's go. All right, um, heading over to the lunch right now. Uh, maybe talk business, talk life, and had to cut the editing short, unfortunately, because it just got kind of noisy and crowded. I'll finish that later. Really excited for this episode, though. Yeah, keep an eye out for that. Just finished up over here at Panera. People get this wrong impression where you can't have fun at a business meeting, but <laughs> they're really fun, like all of them. All right, next place. The weather is like super nice now oh, that's right yeah the weather is like super nice today it's just like a really sh a real shame that i'm probably gonna spend the entire day indoors Welcome to the next episode of this daily vlog that has no name right now, the Alex Young vlog, the today. Anyways, had a great, great time editing the podcast. It took, uh, didn't take longer than I thought it would take. I just went clean through the episode. It was a very nice interview. The great guest, Victor Liddell, Mission Doctor, does great work. I just had a lot of fun talking and communicating with him because our interview, it was conversation based, but his answers, a lot of them came in the form of like storytelling. So when he wanted to make a point or when he wanted to share something, he would tell a story about that experience that he had with that while he was on a mission or while he was doing whatever project that he was working on. There's one in particular that I guess I want to talk about today for today's vlog regarding how solutions to obstacles oftentimes have very simple, but they're just outside of our our field of vision. And the case that he used, uh, he was one of the first responders over to the Ebola crisis back in 2014. There was this issue they were having with regards to tra getting just the equipment and test results transported across the natural terrain uh, because you know in the first world countries we have roads cars go on them it's no problem but over there sometimes some of the places where they where they were like hardest hit did not have that the solution actually came from a guy who was not a medical professional it's not what his his interest was in like motorcycles and bikes realized that the transport that you know other countries were shipping over there just weren't working so like he liked bikes realized that he could modify a bike so that it could transport easily on like traverse easily on that terrain and then solved a big problem and that's just because like he wasn't a medical professional he wasn't really thinking like the standard way that a person in that field might think i don't feel like i am like an expert or a I was gonna say an intelligent person but you know I, there are some things that i know and there are many things that i don't know but yeah didn't do a whole lot of filming today didn't actually go out to do the drone thing. I, Anyways, back to the, <laughs> the main topic at hand. If you get to this point where you feel like you are an expert, always keep an open mind. Be very certain in who you are and what you know, but also be incredibly aware that you don't know everything. If that was today's topic. That's gonna be in the podcast that goes live today. I'll include a link to that when I schedule this video to go online. And um, I'm done ranting now. 